The Meta Business Suite is a fantastic all-in-one tool that you can use to manage your Facebook and Instagram marketing and advertising activities in one place. Hey everyone, it's Stuart here. And in today's video, we are going to start our Meta Business Suite tutorial series in 2023, showing you how to navigate and use the homepage of the Meta Business Suite. Now, just before we get going with today's tutorial video, consider subscribing if you are new to the channel, and don't forget to tap that bell icon to receive all the Facebook and Instagram tutorials and tips from this channel. And with that out the way, let's get into it. Now so here we are on the homepage of the Meta Business Suite in 2023, and there have been a couple of changes you need to be aware of in order to successfully navigate and use the home page successfully. Firstly, you need to understand what profiles you have connected to your Meta Business Suite. And if I zoom in just a little bit, I can see two circles with a Facebook and Instagram icon next to it. This shows that I have successfully connected my Facebook page and Instagram profile to the Meta Business Suite. And if you just see one icon here with the Facebook logo, you can always go and connect your Instagram account with relative ease. And I will include a link to, on how to do that in the description box below. Let's zoom out just a little bit more and come to the section right underneath it. You can see that there is a create post, a create ad, and a more section. If I open up the more section, you will see that there are multiple options you can choose from right over here. Now, the important thing to mention is that Meta or Facebook is slowly rolling out some of these features in different business suites. So you may not be able to see all of these features right over here, but you may have a couple that you can use at a particular point in time. Just be a little patient. You will eventually be able to see all of these things once you have got an older Facebook page or over time once Meta has rolled out these features across all the platforms. So this is a great way for you to create content and to also upload multiple videos at one time, post a video across pages, going live, creating a story, a reel, creating a post that goes to your Instagram or Facebook page, or creating an ad for your page as well, which is really a boosted post. If we scroll over and out, you can see that there is a new little uh, slider feature right over here, which shows you in real time some interesting information that you can see for your Facebook and Instagram page. If we look at the different ones here, you can see that there is messages um, received, there is your audience size for Facebook and Instagram, there is trends, which is how many people your page has reached in the last 28 days, and this goes revolving around in an ongoing pattern. If you are pressed for time as a marketer or a small business owner, it's a great quick way to see what sort of information and what sort of influence your page is having. And it allows you to quickly identify uh, what trends may be important to you and how you can look at reaching a wider audience. If we scroll out again, we then come down to the next section, which is your little to-do list. And this is basically the tasks which you have set for yourself here in the Meta Business Suite. And don't worry, we will do a tutorial showing you how to create a to-do list later on in this series. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you get that particular tutorial. As we scroll down, you can see that there is a section called Manage Your Marketing Content. And if we zoom in just a little bit more, you will see that there are four tabs over here which allow you to see different things. Firstly, with the planner. What the planner does is it allows you to see the posts for this week that have either just been published 
or are set to be published if it is after the blue um, highlighted day up at the top. And coming across to the right hand section, you can also right here schedule a post or if we use the drop down button here, schedule a story. If we go over to the next tab for posts, you can see the recent posts that have gone onto your Facebook and Instagram profile and pages. Scrolling over to stories, it is the same thing as well. You can see the recent stories that you have shared across Facebook and across Instagram. And a great tool here is simply being able to click create story for either Facebook or Instagram. So if you can't yet see the create a story feature here, if we go down to the manage your marketing content, you may be able to see it over here. And then finally, there is the ad section. So if you are creating ads in the Meta Business Suite, you can see some of the recent campaigns that have run, or if you want to create a new one, we simply click on create new ad and follow the process. As we scroll down here, you can look at the explore more ways to grow section and Facebook or Meta will sometimes provide updates to the self-serve ads and other policies that they have recently done. I would advise you read the terms and see what your business is signing up for. But as we go down to the next section here, you can see that there is a cool little section called grow your audience. And you can do this by contacting your existing network or contacting new people who have engaged with your Facebook or Instagram page in some shape or form. We just need to click on the buttons here and then follow the process to invite them to come and like our page. It's quite a cool little feature, particularly if you are just getting started out on Facebook or Instagram and want to build and grow your audience. As we scroll down even further, we can see the section of what's new in the Meta Business. It will show you what the updated features are in the Meta Business Suite and also what you need to do in order to get the most out of the experience. Just click on the See More button and you'll be directed to a section which shows you some of the latest updates here in the Meta Business Suite. Now, there are some other fantastic tools that you can access from the Meta Business Suite homepage that will allow you to successfully undertake your marketing and advertising activities for Facebook and Instagram. If we head over to the menu section on the left hand side, you can see that there are a range of different tools that you can access. Firstly, there is notifications for your Facebook and Instagram accounts. There is the inbox section, which allows you to check, respond, and engage with the messages that are sent to your Facebook and Instagram profiles. There is the planner section for creating content for your pages. There is the ads manager that will open in a new tab and allow you to create Facebook ads. Now, this is not to be mistaken with the create ad section here. This ads manager is a bit more advanced and I'll include a link in the description box below on how to create a Facebook ad for your business using this ads manager. If we scroll down, we can see an extension of the rotating slider here, which is the insight section. And this provides a good overview of the analytics of your pages. If we come down to ads reporting and events manager, you can then have a look at the feedback, a number of clicks, the reach, impressions, conversions, leads that your ads have produced here in ads reporting. And of course, um, events manager, this is basically the events that you have set up on your pixel. And once again, I'll include a link in the description box below explaining what a pixel is and also a video for event tracking as well so that these are not confusing terms to you if you are new to the Facebook and Instagram advertising platform.
Obviously, there's a lot of other tools that can be accessed as well. And all we need to do is navigate to the bottom where we see the All Tools title next to the hamburger bar. And we just want to click on that, which is then going to open up a menu with everything that you currently have access to in your Meta Business Suite. Now, just a quick disclaimer, my page is a couple of years old and I have been on both platforms for quite a while. So my level of access is a lot higher. If you don't see all of these features yet, don't worry. Facebook or Meta is slowly rolling out all of these features. So in time, you will have access to most of these things. If we have a quick look here, you can see that there is a section uh, for additional tools, such as accessing the business apps, uh, file manager, where you can manage and upload multiple files at one time. There is the ads section, there is the insight section, there is the ability to manage orders and payouts, there is the services section, the instant form section, where you can download the leads um, that your ads have produced. So it is quite a handy place to go if you are a bit unsure about what you need um, access to and how to get it. So let's type in an example up at the top here. Let's say I want to access ads. I just type it in at the top and it will then show up all of the things related to ads. If we want to change to apps, for example, it will then show us all the different uh, features over here. Perhaps the most important uh, access point here is the settings button. So this allows you to go and manage your Meta Business account. It allows you to manage the uh, pages and who has access to them. So quite an important tool to have access to. And finally, it, just exiting out of here, We've also got the settings button too. So if you are a Facebook page admin or an Instagram page admin, you'll have access to the settings button here. And this will allow you to have a look at all of the assets that you have access to within the Meta Business Suite. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got a lot of value out of it. Once again, if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button down below and consider subscribing if you are new to the channel and want ongoing Facebook and Instagram marketing tutorials and tips. We post new videos every single week. And if you have any questions about the content that was covered in today's video, you can always leave a comment down below and I'll aim to answer your questions as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next tutorial video. Bye for now.